<laughs> Can see why they call it Mr. Muscle. <laughs> Duty calls. <laughs> Sorry, of course, of course, sorry. There you go. Gotcha. We've been together for, gosh, how long is it now? About nine years. We were at school together. Yeah. Our eyes met over a textbook about DNA. And the rest is, as they say, biology. <laughs> We had eight wonderful years together, um, right up until last January when uh, Gemma was first diagnosed. Yeah, it started with um, headaches and nausea. She had to take some time off work. About 10 weeks, wasn't it? Yeah, about, yeah. Then eventually I saw the doctor and he said that I had 12 months to live. We couldn't believe what we were hearing, could we, babe? Well, actually, I didn't hear it. Uh, I wasn't in the room at the time. <laughs> uh, Gemma wanted to be alone when uh, she was first diagnosed. Yeah, that's very important to me. Yeah. Gemma's actually kept all of her consultations totally private, um, but she tells me all about them afterwards. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's my coping mechanism. Mm. Yeah. The doctor said it's quite common for um, sufferers of mitolurgonitis. At least that's what he told Gemma. I've still not met him. Living with a disease like mitolurgonitis is, is really very, very hard. The problem is, is that sometimes I'm totally myself. I'm just normal and then other days I'm in such agony and just so much pain that I can't move or, or do anything mm. at all. Mm. There's no telling when it'll happen. I, last month we were supposed to go see my parents for the weekend and um, like just as we were about to leave, suddenly Gemma had an attack and you know she couldn't move. Uh, in the end, she just had to stay at home in bed and I went by myself. Um, you were gutted, weren't you? Mm. Gutted. Mm. I, I feel bad for Gemma, to be honest, because she's had to miss so much this year. I, she's not been able to go to work. She's not been able to see my parents. She's not been to any of my poetry recitals. She hasn't even made one magic show. And as an artist, oh my god, oh my god, Gemma, 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 shh, shh, hey, Gemma, 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 you're okay, you're okay, uh, you're okay, shh, come to me, come to, uh, me, come to me, come to me, she's having an attack, it's uh, okay, don't worry, come here, come here, uh, you're okay, you must okay. have had one of my debilitating and very painful seizures, yeah, okay. can you just give me some space because yeah. I can't breathe, I still have some hope, <laughs> You know, hope that they might find a cure, maybe. I mean, I've got a bottle of posh champagne in the fridge, just in case the doctor gives us some good news. I've got hope, you know. You've got to, haven't you? I don't know. I think, to be honest, uh, I, I, don't really, I don't really know what I'd do without her, honestly. Strange knowing you've only got a short amount of time left with someone. You don't really know how to spend it. Um, and then Gemma had the idea of a bucket list of stuff. Um, yeah, it's basically a list of things that I want to do before I die. Yeah. If Gemma's going out, she's going out happy. <laughs> don't be so morbid, Russell. We've done all sorts of things, haven't we? Yeah. Mm, skydiving, 
fancy meals out. Oh, swimming with the dolphins. Oh, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make all of those activities. Yeah, well, you know, those sorts of things are really expensive, so Russell had to take out a second job. Mm. And uh, Gemma couldn't work because of the... Um, crippling pain. Crippling pain, yeah. So, um, so I had to take out a couple of extra jobs just to pay for the mm. <laughs> bucket list activities, which meant, oh, I couldn't actually go on lots of them. <laughs> which, which is fair. Yeah, but I always text him after to let him know how it was, so... Mm. Yeah. It's basically the same as being there. Oh, postman delivers. <laughs> couple of letters for you. I was thinking, actually, that um, maybe we could um, try to visit my parents again this weekend. My dad's doing another quiz night. Uh, we've got a team called the Quizzy Rascals. <laughs> just, just... Oh, yeah, no, that does. That does sound really fun. Yeah. But, um, this is from the hospital. Oh. Yeah, it's a, it's a scan. It says that it spread. The disease has spread. Oh, God. Yeah. Where? My larynx. Your larynx? Mm -hmm. Yep. Where's that? You know what, Russell, I actually don't really want to talk about this because it's very painful. Of course, yes, yeah, yes, of you. course. Sorry. Do you still want to be in the Quizzy Rascals? No. 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 That's for me? Yes, yeah, sorry, it is for you. Yes, you're good. <gasps> It's my plane ticket. Okay. Basically, we discussed that when Gemma um, does finally pass on, uh, that she should be doing it peacefully and on her own terms. Mm. So um, there's that place in Switzerland uh, called Dignitas. Mm. But unfortunately, Gemma hates the Swiss. I do. I won't even need a tobler. But oh, thankfully, Gemma managed to find another place online that does a really similar uh, process. Yeah. It's in the Maldives. But unfortunately, I will have to be going by myself because that's the rules of the place. We're hoping they might change them, though. No, they won't. They might. No. The mycologonitis has affected um, our, uh, uh, our sex life a little bit. Why are you doing that? I don't. I wasn't going to. Sorry. You, I, should, I shouldn't. Definitely not. No, sorry, I didn't. We, it, it hasn't affected our sex life. It's still, oh. Oh. still good. We're still uh, uh, having sex. What well, stops it? Don't sorry, say I that. don't. I wasn't having. Don't lie. We're not having sex. No. Are we? Should I tell her we're having sex? I'm gonna punch you in a second. Yeah, don't. So. Let's do this for real. No, you feel. It's quite an exciting night tonight. It's a bucket list night. Yeah, uh, slightly awkward, but uh, when Gemma was first diagnosed, we discussed our um, sex life. Uh, the ins and outs, the, the good things, and the slightly uh, worse things. Russell can't satisfy me. I cannot, no. Um, I, I have what's known as a, as a buried penis. Um, it's where the penis uh, is uh, submerged in the skin of the crotch, um, leaving little more than a nub. It looks like a belly button. Mm. Yeah. You can still wee out of it though. I'll get it! So yes, um, tonight's all about making sure Gemma meets her maker satisfied. Here he is. Hi. The big man. Mm. I want her standing in front of the pearly gates with a the glow on her face, so to speak. Should be quite a fun night, actually. Uh, I've got a bottle of wine. Um, made some homemade chicken goujons. Oh, uh, and a little batch of my famous guacamole. <laughs> oh, a little tip, um, if you want to stop it going brown, just pop an avocado stone in the bowl with the rest of the guac. That'll keep it nice and green. Looks like they're getting started. I don't even have time to give them any refreshments. <laughs> <laughs> Gemma? 
Gemma, the, <laughs> the, the, the door's accidentally locked itself. Again. Get Gemma. Symptom of the mitologanitis. She probably can't hear me. Gemma. Gemma. <laughs> Gemma. Relationships can be tough. You know, it's not like you see in the movies. Huh? I mean, sure, there can be love and romance, but they're also about looking after someone constantly because we're wearing incurable illness. And also, just because you see me waiting on Gemma all the time doesn't mean it's always this one way. <laughs> I mean, Gemma does loads of stuff for me, don't you, dear? Oh, yeah, yeah, loads. Loads. Do you want me to plump your pillow? Yes. What can I say? I love her. 